This video is going to explain how to copy folders or files from Dropbox successfully. What typically happens is you will go to copy a folder to a device, say a, a jump drive, thumb drive, USB drive, whatever you call it, or some type of card that needs to go to a vehicle so that you can have your prescriptions or your setup information for harvest loaded into your device. And, and what happens when you copy from Dropbox, you will always get a warning. And I'm going to show you what the warnings are and how to work through them. The easiest thing for me to demonstrate that with is copying the John Deere folder for my John Deere clients to a jump drive that's inserted into my USB port on my computer. So I'm going to open up this prescriptions 2017 folder and I'm going to open, open up the planter folder. Now the John Deere clients understand that this is the folder they need to copy. Now there's two ways to do it. I do it by right clicking on that and go to copy. Some people they come up here right click and go send to and then they have to pick the drive. I will do the copy first and then I will also do the send to. So I'm going to select copy, then I'm going to come down here and hopefully open up my jump drive folder. I'm going to come into this blank white space. If you've ever heard me use the term white space, this is this big white space. Right click, hit paste. Now this comes up immediately. It says, are you sure? you want to copy this folder without its properties. Um, the folder has properties that can't be copied. The first thing I ever did when I saw this was I panicked and hit no. So if you hit no, it, it doesn't do anything. It just terminates the copy. If you hit yes, it's going to go through and it's going to give you this same warning every time it's encountering a new event. Now, there are 10 folders folder inside this folder. It wants to know if I want to copy each of those folders without its properties. Do this for all current items. Put a check mark and then select yes. Now we're not done because this is John Deere and it's never done. So now it's saying, okay, inside each of those folders are files. Do you want to copy those files without their properties? You select this, do this for all current items, and hit yes. Once that's done, we can open it up. Okay, there are 10 folders that successfully copied, and inside are three files. Each folder has three files that make up the prescription for the John Deere system. Now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to do the send to. Delete. Do I want to delete it? Yes. So then I go back to oh, my folder. Now all the customers are going to see. I picked Jim Bucklehide because his are ready for 2017. Now I'm going to highlight the same folder I just copied and do the send to instead of the copy and paste. Go send to, I know it's drive H. Okay, we get this warning. We get yes. I presume we're going to get the same scenario of all warnings. Same warning. There's folder here without its properties. There's 10 of them. Hit yes. and the files. Do we want to send the files without their properties? There's 32 of them. We want to say yes. We go to the H drive. 
there are all the fields again, and there are the files within each field folder. So that is how you verify. So anyway, that is how we do a copy and paste or a send to and get through the warnings that are going to occur when we copy out of Dropbox. If you have questions, feel free to call me.